playing with power. It's Amiibo Jason here with a quick Animal Crossing Amiibo update. So, we already know what Amiibo do in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and if you don't, I have a video in the description below that shows exactly what they do. But the big question right now is when can you actually start using these Amiibo, and it looks like we can finally start doing that on or around day four. So here's how it happened for me. On day four, on my beach, I saw Harvey, you might recognize him from Animal Crossing New Leaf, the guy who came with the Welcome Amiibo update, wandering around my beach. After talking with him, he let me know he has his very own island, and I can fly there anytime I want, for free. That's right, no nook miles needed for this flight. So of course, I scurried off to the airport, and I flew to Harvey's island. Now once you arrive, you find a small house, and that's about it, and Harvey's sitting outside. He lets you know that he has opened up a photo studio, and you can go inside and find six different sets that you can use. Now they're, they're pretty bare for the most part, but you can put your own items in these sets to decorate it to your heart's content. But more importantly, you can actually bring characters from your island to take photos with you. But if you happen to have amiibo cards or amiibo figures, you can bring characters that way as well. Simply press down on the d-pad on your controller and it opens up kind of like this navigation menu where you can move things around and like i said before summon amiibo easy enough you'll see a small amiibo logo in the bottom left hand corner take a card or a figure and tap it onto your controller i tried quite a few now the ones that did work were just basic villagers i had drake Agnes, and of course I brought Isabel over too. Now, one thing to note, I actually tapped in the Kimono Isabel from the Series 3 Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, but it doesn't matter what Isabel Amiibo you use, she's going to be wearing her kind of generic pink island apparel, so it's kind of sad, but what are you gonna do? Now, the Amiibo that did not work are Quite a few, actually. I tried the Hello Kitty Amiibo cards, they did not work. Now that's not to say they don't do anything, but we'll get into that in just a few minutes here. I also tried special cards like Digby, I even tried Rover, both of those did not work as well. Now the most heartbreaking ones that did not work were the Legend of Zelda ones, you might remember this again from the Welcome Amiibo update, you could have Wolf Link and Ganon come to your town, and they do not work whatsoever which is not totally surprising, but who knows, maybe they're gonna add those to the game at some point in the future. Now for the ones that did work, it's pretty easy. You can move them around, you can make them have different expressions if you've unlocked that, and most importantly, you can actually dress them up too, with the exception of some of the special characters. Isabel did not allow me to dress her up, which was sad. I wanted to put a sombrero on Isabel so bad and it just would not let me do it. And of course, then you can put furniture and move them around and just take photos to your heart's content. That's pretty much it for what you can do with Amiibo at this stage in the game. So after you leave the island, you get a phone call from Harvey, letting you know that he's actually taken the Amiibo that you've scanned in and turned them into posters. Now these posters can be purchased at the terminal in Nook's tent, so you can see him there. Now the Amiibo that did not work, besides the Zelda ones, actually are transferred into posters, which is really nice. So I did get a Digby poster, got a Rover poster, but the surprising thing here was when I tapped in the Hello Kitty Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, instead of getting a picture of the animal that it represents, I got a picture of the sticker art that came with the packs when they came out in the UK and in Japan, which is kind of bizarre. But still kind of cool to a certain degree. It makes me wonder if we're going to see any of these Animal Crossing Hello Kitty amiibo characters come to the game anytime soon, but the fact that they're not in the game's data yet, even for a poster, is kind of concerning, but who knows, Nintendo's probably going to be updating this game for years. But there you go, that's what you can do with amiibo so far. As of right now, you cannot summon amiibo characters to your island, at least as of yet. But I'm guessing this is a first step to that. I'm going to keep playing, and as soon as I do unlock that ability, I'll let you guys know how to do it. But there you go, our first look at amiibo in Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you guys have gotten to this point, let me know. Show me some pictures that you took in the Photopia mode. I'm really curious to see what that looks like. But until next time, guys, stay wired in. Bye. Wow.